This morning we're going to learn how to sort a query, and we're going to do it in a couple of ways. And in this example, I'm going to actually use a query that has both numeric and string values. I think that'll be useful, especially since um, with queries, a lot of times it'll just be one or the other. So this will be kind of a mixed example. So that way we can see how it is. And the other thing too is not all of these documents match. Some of these documents don't even have these values. So this will be even more exciting in the sense that, um, <clears throat> and again, most cases it won't be this way. So this will be a fairly unusual example. Okay, cool. So let's look at our values. We're gonna sort on number. And in this case, you'll notice number is generally a numeric value. That is until we type it and we look at the other one. For instance, this one doesn't have number on it. As you see, neither does this one, and this number is not a number, it's actually a string, okay? So what we're going to do is first I'm going to sort, and we're going to play around with two different sorts, um, just so that you can see how it works. So the first I'm going to do is db.sqlserver.find, and after find I'm going to pass in my sort operator, which is sort, and then I'm going to sort by number, okay? And I'm going to sort and you're, you see that I pass in the value of one, and I'll show you that in a second. And then I'm gonna close and then do pretty. Okay. And you will notice, sometimes it's kind of hard to see on command line, but you will notice here's where I called the sort. The first two items that come are values that don't have any number. Right, so these two come first because they don't have any number. Then it starts at zero, one, one, etc. And then if we continue to go, you see that it's increasing. So using one, the values are going to increase. So they're going to start at well, in, in this case, non-existent, and then they're going to start at the lowest values and increase. Right, and then it goes all the way up. And you'll notice that the highest value is a string, which is. Uh, for me, like when I was first doing this a while ago, like I would have expected the string would have been probably where the non-existent values were because they're not numbers. So that's something that's interesting, and you will probably not face a lot of situations in which you have value or in a collection of fields that don't exist or that are strings as well as numbers. I mean, like this is kind of a, a contrived example, but it's a good practice because you see the behavior. Okay, so then let's look at this. And let's do negative one. Now this is going to be in inverted order, as we will see. Let's go all the way to the top here, where we pass in negative one, and you will see that we have. Uh, it starts with the string, and then you see it uh, descending right. And then of course we would expect that our last two values will be at the end that don't have number. So that's just some behavior. I would play around with it and get familiar with it, whether it's dates, whether it's numbers, whether it's strings. You probably will not run into a lot of uh, collection uh, or a collection like this one, and I kind of make it contrived uh, because most are not going to be this bizarre. That being said, it does kind of familiarize you with you, so that way when you are dealing with, let's suppose, a field slash key that has both numbers and uh, letters, you'll know exactly the behavior when you want to return a query a certain way.